offered as accredited certification. So a weird quirk. I hope that kind of makes sense to people. Um, but that's kind of the, the rules and, and the process. However, BSI are offering an unaccredited certification to it. Um, and what that means, we are, we are following all of those rules that we have to normally for accredited. So in terms of the robustness and the integrity of the process for the certification, we're following exactly the same. What it means for the client organization is when they get their certificate at the end, for an accredited um, certification, the, the badge of the accredited or organization is on the certificate. So um, if we're talking in the UK, that's, gen that's pretty much UCAS in other parts of the world. It might be ANAB or local accreditation bodies. So that that's the kind of the demonstration of that accreditation process is you get the logo on your on your certificate. Um, for the BSI certification, as I say, we are following all of the same rules, the same level of rigor, um, and all it means is the certificate that you get at the end just doesn't have that logo, that accreditation logo on it. Um, so I think there are mechanisms for organisations to be able de to demonstrate that, that third party um, assessment and independent um, verification that they're, they're implementing the standard as they BSI are, are doing that.